All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, El Shah, Bashem, Kakadash. And that's the true Hebrew names of the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, and the Lash Wan Kadash. That's the Holy Tongue in the Paleo Hebrew. Yahweh is who the world ignorantly calls the Most High God or Heavenly Father. And Yahweh means He is, He exists, He is to be. Bahashem means in the name. Yahweh Shai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And Yahweh Shai means he is the savior. He is the deliverer. Bahashem again means in the name. And Raka Kadash means the spirit holy or the Holy Spirit. We want to give a double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and citations to Akim that's pushing this word throughout the four corners abroad with truth and sincerity. Uh, 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 doing the work to seal up the hopeful elect till we can get out this captivity called Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. And sh uh, Shalom to the Akim Wa Athwats. Peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters that may be listening, tuning in, studying under the vibration of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kadash. Uh, we're just two brothers from the Great Millstone Boston camp. I'm the brother Taz War. And we're back here with a quick lesson. As you can see in the screen, hey, the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. I'm going to repeat it. The RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. We're going to constantly push that vibration, push this truth, because this is a major, major prophecy before our Lord and Savior comes to reckon uh, Babylon the Great and set up, uh, uh, deliver the elect of Israel, you know, and destroy Esau's kingdom. You know, we got to push that because, uh, you know, Revelations is one of the toughest books to uh, decipher or to get understanding, mm -hmm. you know, and... You know, blesses our eyes and blesses our ears because the Lord gave us that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, gave us the light to actually understand what we're reading. And, you know, he gave us the, the spirit to go into uh, studying in the words, the meaning in the Greek, the Latin, the Hebrew, you know, and, and that's why the scripture says study to show thyself approved, man. And, you know, we have other leaders that know that they're Israelites. But they still pushing that, you know, the mark of the beast is a uh, spiritual mark or it's uh, sleeping with white women or it's an embargo or it's John 316 or Cesare Borgia. No, when we go into Revelations, the 13th chapter, what's spoken about, it's a physical mark. And as you can see on the screen, that mark that is, 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 is spoken about that John the Revelator seen is the RFID microchip, man, the radio frequency identification uh, 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 microchip. And this is what's been planned by the elites. Ultimately, the Lord is allowing this to happen and let the elites plan this uh, uh, as the end all be all pretty much of cash. And this is going to be the new um, currency. currency, digital currency. And this is going to be a way for the elites to pretty much uh, own you and, 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 and watch you and, and, and track you and see what you're spending or with your health. How much money you have, or you know where you live, where's your location? This is this is is uh, uh, one of his major devices to pretty much be like the Most High, and we're here to push through the scriptures. Hey, this is the mark of the beast, man, and and you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, not to take it, and that's our that's our reasonable service. This is our duty to give you warning for, from the Lord, man. So we're just gonna go through the spirit. We don't got nothing jotted down, but we know earlier this week uh, you had a. Uh, uh, teacher, you know, Zabak, uh, but he was the HOI. Yeah. He, he's been teaching that there's a spiritual mark or, or those that got the mark of the beast is the, like, say, celebrities or, or actors or entertainers that uh, that pretty much just signed a contract with Esau and now has rich in fame, you know. But there's an actual physical mark, man. The physical mark is actually receiving this RFID microchip under your, your in your skin. It doesn't matter whether it's your right hand, your forehead, your left hand, your thigh, your foot. You know, if you get this uh, microchip implanted into your skin, you are receiving the mark of the beast, and you are predestined. Are you going to be uh, uh, predestinated for destruction, man? That's what uh, this uh, uh, Revelation uh, chapter 13. Uh, verse 15 mm -hmm. and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast should be killed you know the image of the beast you know is a system man you know that's uh the uh greco roman system coming back to america you know his uh deadly wound was hell right so america pretty much adopted the ways the philosophy of the Christian and the Romans, and pretty much that's what we're living in right now. That's right. You know, uh, verse uh, verse sixteen, and he caused if all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in the right head or in the forehead. That's right. 
matter of fact, let's you go get that blue, the blue letter. Right, right, there come, it come. Right. See, so that and, and that goes back into you know. Uh, our elders, apostles, always telling us to study the sword ourself, approve, go into the blue letter, go into the, the meaning of words in the Greek, the Latin, the Hebrew. Because if you read English for face value, you know, there's a few marks according to the Bible. You know, there's a spirit, there's an actual spiritual mark and there's an actual uh, a physical mark. And there's a mark like uh, to scope them out or to, yeah, to cool. um, identify, yeah. you know, to put a, a magnifying glass. So if you take English for face value, you'll be confused. That's why. We gotta go into the meaning of words, man. So the mark in the Hebrew is um so like in the Greek is uh 5479. Yep. And this is using the blue letter app. Strong G 5480. Haragma. Haragma. Oh, it says a karagma, it says a a, a step, and then put a mark of the mark step on the forehead or or the right head as the badge of the follower of the entire house shy, right? Mm -hmm. the, the mark branded upon horses. The mark branded upon horses, yeah. Uh, it says a, a thing carved. A thing carved. A uh, sculpture. Sculpture, yeah. Graven work. That's right. And see, that's a physical mark. You want to go into Karax, the, what's the, Karax, the right? root word, yeah, of, Kara of Karagma, which is Karax. Yeah, it says Karax, right? It says Karax. Strong's G, 5482. Karax. Karax. Con says uh and he says a uh, a pair of stake, uh, a a palisade right. That's uh, exactly. uh, yep, it says a pair of stake or palisade. Palisade. And that's right? what you see here on this screen. This is it's the instrument right here. This white thing that's going to insert the uh uh this chip inside your uh your skin. So this is mm -hmm. like a stair. Uh, yeah. I mean a pair or a, a palisade. So it's like a, a surgical procedure. That's right. Something that that's they, they're gonna put inside something else to push under your skin. That's right. Can you go back to Karamo? The, the Strong's definition. Uh, so it proves that in Revelations the 13th chapter, John the Revelator was talking about the mark was going to actually be a physical mark. Go okay. to the Strong's definition. Uh, uh, Karagma, right? Go back to Karagma, yeah. It says uh, a stamp or an imprinted mark. A stamp and an imprinted mark. See, that's an actual physical mark. So it can't be uh, sleeping with white women. It can't be Christianity. It can't be an embargo or John 3.16 because you can't put John 3.16 inside your flesh. You mm. see what I'm saying? Mm. This is an actual device that, that, that the elites are planning to, to, to push. You know, and you could see it happening ever since I want to say what 2016. It was been pushed here in America heavily, heavily. heavily you know, you know where there was a uh, three, uh, what was that three corner three square, market, square market, three square market out in Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. They were pushing that to, uh, you know, using this device to open doors, to mm -hmm. log into computers, to make payments. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the new wave of the future, yeah. and, and they're pushing it as a good thing. But ultimately, you know, we see it as these devils are mm -hmm. pushing their agenda to start to get everybody uh, chip. Man. Yeah, it's like. A, it's gonna be like a new way of living, right? That's what's uh, one thing that's gonna come with uh, transhumanism, mm -hmm. where you actually uh, merge human being with it, with technology. That's right. Pretty much to ESO wants to pretty much uh uh you basically you're gonna become like a, a computer, like a machine, a robot. A robot, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So huh. pretty much you got ESO is trying to any sick twisted mind. He's trying to pretty much uh, get you uh give you. Uh, super intelligence on the left hand side right. because he knows ultimately the law, the elect of Yahweh Hashem Mashiach, they're gonna have uh, spiritual power, they're gonna be uh, uh, perfect, you know, what I'm saying? they're gonna know all things, you know? yeah. Can't. And it goes back to you know, they you know, when they're trying to uh, make you like a computer mm. or you know, they're trying to monitor your you know, your ID, your information, all that stuff goes back into a database, mm. you know, and they're gonna be monitoring, it. and that's how them trying to be like the most high, that's they're right. trying to watch your every movement, see what you're doing, know what you're doing, and that's what you how it does uh, automatically you know but they're trying to use this technology as the wave of the future to pretty much be like the most high and they're going to push a narrative like hey don't be afraid of of, of 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 credit card fraud or identity theft or don't have to worry about losing your wallet or your money or your valuables and information just put this uh chip in your flesh and you'll never have to worry about it see they're gonna they're gonna um uh, 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 manipulate the minds of the simple yeah. and the weak uh, 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 of that fear 
just mm. to ex execute their agenda. As you can see on the screen, man, this is what the RFID microchip has capabilities to do, to open your car doors, your house door, even the refrigerator, mm. you know, using the vending machines to log into computers and even make payments, um, you know? Matter of fact, let me read it over, right? Yeah. Our Revelation 13, verse 16, right. and he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bone, to receive a mark in the right hand or in the forehead. That's right. So it doesn't matter what your social status is. So once it's all rolled out, all out the RFID microchip, Guess what? He wants everybody to take part in it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. That's right. You know that you no man might buy or, or, buy or sell. So that's how you know it's a, it's a physical mark. You know what I'm saying? That's right. You can't you can't buy or sell for uh, uh, uh Christianity or John right. 316. You know that's what I'm saying? Right. It's a it's a physical mark, right? It's a physical mark. And you could just see it happen if you go to any store, go to Walmart, you go. To stop a shop, for instance, or, or, or you go uh, uh, Target, they have the, or in your convenience stores, they have the quick swipe, uh, 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 swipe pay. Mm. Um, pay as you go. Pay as you go, you know, uh, you don't have to worry about lines. You even, even at the gas station, you could just swipe your your, your, your card, which ha your debit card or credit card, which has mm. the RFID uh, uh, technology on the card. You know, they, they're conditioning uh, 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 citizens are making a quick payment, man. Yeah. Because, Instead of using cash or coins, man. Yeah, because like even when you go to buy grocery store, to buy grocery, right? They will ask you, do you have the chip? That's so right. that's pretty much it's all pretty much uh, 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 pro programming you to pretty get used to it. Yeah, that's right. You know. And you gotta have it. And that's what they be saying. Oh, you don't have it. It's like you you look like you're the you're an outsider. You know. Mm. You know they they're pushing forth their agenda so quick that you and you, most people wanna have to uh, 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 obey. You know, right. but we're here telling you, hey, don't be deceived by the the, 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 the plans of these devils, man, because ultimately they're going to uh, remove the, the credit cards and they're going to want people to get this uh, implanted in them. This is yeah. going to become mandatory, as the scripture says. It says, uh, here is wisdom. Let him that had understanding count the number of the beasts, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 600, through his car and six. That's right. You know, if I may, I were correct, because like this uh, RFID microchip, that's ESO. Desperate move to pretty much to uh, be your taskmaster, to be your lord, to be a master over you, you know what I'm saying? That's Especially right. the Israelites, because he knows that the Lord has a remnant that is going to save. So Esau wants to pretty much uh, 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 claim you as his property, you know what I'm saying? He wants to, uh, because like once you take the mark, guess what? The Lord has nothing to do with you. The Lord, right. the Lord can, 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 there's nothing he can do with you because you already submit to, to the devil's rulership, to That's his right. uh, to his uh, 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 system. Yeah, the next chapter talks about pretty much the consequences of you Israelites that received this mark, man. That's right. Uh, Revelations 14, I'll start, at, I'll start at verse 8. Uh, and there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, the great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mm. And that's important. It said Babylon, because uh, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, which is America. Right. This is the one that's pushing forth that wine, their agenda, uh, their philosophies throughout the whole world on accepting this uh, uh, device, mm. accepting their philosophies, accepting their their, their their way of life, pretty much. Mm. And you know they're the ones, they're in the forefront, they're the nucleus of pushing this agenda. Man. Ultimately, yeah. it's from the elites, but they're going to use America, which has most of the influence throughout the whole world, right. to accepting this uh, uh, this new system. way of life, this yes. new system. That's it right. goes back to the beast, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I'll read it again. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Mm. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, again, that word mark in this chapter is karagma again. So mm. it's a physical mark, like the brother read out in um, the blue letter. You know, uh, uh, things stamped, uh, 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 things carved. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a physical mark. I read that again. And the third angel followed him, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and received his mark in his forehead or in his right or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of, of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into a cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, and in the presence of the Lamb, and the smoke of their tor torment ascended up forever and ever, and they have no rest. Day nor night, who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Yeah, ultimately, if you take the mark, man, guess what? You're gonna feel the full wrath of Yahweh Hashem, man. 
That's right. His indignation, you know, because like the Lord told you uh, to his prophets, we shall the mouth of Yahweh not to take, not to take it. That's so right. if you refuse, if you refuse to listen to the prophets, you take it. Guess what? Your your fate is already sealed. Man, there's nothing the Lord can do about, or with you. you That's know? right. And the wrath of the Lord's indignation, that righteous anger, is going to be through them thermonuclear missiles, you know, from World War Three, Armageddon. I'm a God one, you know, that's the Lord's spirit uh, uh, bringing that spirit of war. And that's the end all be all because we did say, you know, the RFID microchip is, is and, and World War Three are the two last major prophecies before the Lord comes back and destroy this place. man. So those that receive that mark is pretty much making a, a, a allegiance with Satan, mm -hmm. with Esau, Edom and Satan himself. So those that receive that mark are going to fill a uh, field. Their soul burning forever and ever here in America, man. Mm -hmm. You know, by them thermonuclear missiles and ultimately that um the uh the chariots, you know, the 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 the, the so called UFOs will shoot out laser beams, man. It's gonna be concentrated fire. You know, you, you your soul's gonna burn here in America, man. Come on, because like we also said, uh, when you go to the old mark, it says a a badge of of servitude, right? He's so right. pretty pretty much gonna bring the Jew at the, at his, as his slave, his property, right? That's right. He's a uh, Exodus 21 verse 1 Now these are the judgment which thou shalt set before them If thou buy a Hebrew uh, servant Six years he shall serve thee Six years he shall serve And in the seven he shall go out free for nothing That's right. if, he came him, if he came in by himself He shall go out by himself If he were married Then his wife shall go out with him If the, his master gave him a wife And gave him born so like in she gave so like and she have born him sons or daughters the wife and her children shall be her masters and he shall go out by himself if the servants uh, if the servant shall plainly say I love my master my wife and my children I will not go out free mm -hmm. then his master shall bring him unto the judges he shall also bring him to the to the door onto the doorpost and his master shall bore his ears through with an owl, and he shall serve him forever. And that's exactly like what it is. Esau wants you to serve him forever. He wants mm -hmm. to be, he wants you to be his slave uh, perpetually, man. That's right. Because like by him put a, uh, uh, putting a, a mark under your, si under your skin, that's that's him pretty much uh, uh, put his, uh, 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 pretty much letting you know that you belong to him. That's right. You know that's saying? that badge of servitude. That's, yeah, that's and, the badge but, of servitude. But he's already out. You know, he's predestined to be destroyed. So you eat, uh, you Israelites that take that chip, you pretty much are gonna be thrust through. You're gonna be, you're gonna receive the judgment of Esau, man. You know, because that's his last hurrah. You know, that that's his. He, he he's on his, uh, his back leg. against yeah he's on his last leg he got his back against the wall and he, this is what he's trying to push forth that new world order agenda get everybody chipped but ultimately it's the end all be all for him so those Israelites that comply and submit hey you're going to feel the wrath of Esau uh, 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 of the Lord and receive the judgment of Esau Edom and plus the law told us uh, uh, not to make any cutting of the flesh I got that real quick mm. uh, Leviticus 19 verse 28. And this is for you Israelites that, you know, have been saying that the, the, the apostles of Great Millstone and the brothers are bugged out and uh, the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast, right? You know, and, and you guys hearken on the law, the law, the law, you know, and so you pretty much are, are agreeing that you want to take this chip then if you don't believe that the RFID microchip is the mark of the beast. So you're willing to take it. You're going to pretty much break the law. You know, mm. Leviticus 19, verse 28, ye shall not make any cutting in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. And that's exactly what you're not supposed to do. That's the law. That's the law. So for you Israelites, I like to pretty much saying the law, the law, the law is it's in the Bible. It's in, the, right. it's in the, the, the what, you, what you call so-called Old Testament. You know what I'm saying? That's right. The, the, the Torah. So the law, the law plainly says you're not supposed to do that. So by you. Uh, uh, inserting a, uh, 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 a chip under your skin. Or that's taking the vaccine, off. pushing to take the 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 vaccine. The vaccine. The vaccine. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. So you guys are so pro this is, and that's and that's and that just proves that there's Israelites that are also bowing down and worshiping the image of the beast, man. Mm -hmm. They're not against the 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 the, 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 the agenda, the system. That, the, the system that Esau has been pushing out forth, man. They're comfortable here in America. That's right. And but but. Going back to what Zabak said, the spiritual mark, hey, we got it according to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. The spiritual mark is what's going to keep us from being, uh, I mean, it's going to help us from being delivered from, from, from the perilous times that come. 
You know, yes, right. and it's in Ezekiel nine and four. Mm -hmm. You want to get that the blue letter, Baba Kasha, for the mark. Ezekiel nine verse four, and then the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. So that's what we're doing. We're trying to set a spiritual mark on those that are tired of this system, tired of Esau's rulership, that are looking for a, a new heaven and new earth and dwelling for righteousness. They're looking for our Lord and Savior, how about Shem El Shai, to cleanse them and, and, and deliver them from this way of uh, Babylon the Great, which is hell, man. You um, want to get that real quick? The mark is... Uh... Strong's age 8420. Tav. Tav. Yes, that's Dawah, right? Dawah. A mark, right? Desire a mark, a mark as a sign of exemption from judgment. That's right. See, so there's another mark, you know, uh, and, and this is in the Old Testament. So we know that, you know, originally the, the Old Testament was written in the Hebrew. This is where we go into the Hebrew. The Hebrew word is Dawah. Uh, Dawah, yeah, which means a spiritual exemption. mark, an that's exemption right. from judgment. That's right. That's, you know? a, that's a spiritual mark. That's the spiritual mark, mm. you know, Zabak, you know, just for edification. You mm. know what I'm saying? That's, that's right. the spiritual mark. That's, right. that's the mark that we're putting, and, and we pray that the Lord keeps that mark on us. And when we prophesy, mm. and when someone wakes up to this truth, they're having a spiritual mark put upon them. It's an exemption from judgment. Yeah. And that, and that's for the angels to, 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 to go read through and see who has it or who doesn't. Because... When, when when that deaf angel comes here through America through these uh, uh, Jacob's trouble when the Lord brings these plagues you know uh, uh, those that have that spiritual mark are going to be exempted from the judgment That's right. they're going to be able to move around and operate but That's those right. that don't have it are going to be destroyed and killed as I'm gonna continue reading in Ezekiel nine and four. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And to the others he said in my hearing, Go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your ears spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women. But come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. That's See, right. So that just proves if you don't have that spiritual mark when all hell breaks loose mm. you are going to be utterly destroyed killed it doesn't matter whether you are old elderly young a, a, a woman yeah. a child this is so because the lord ain't no respect as a person you know so this is why we push to to, to get this word out to for, for the elect to be sealed and have that uh, uh, exemption from judgment uh, i got i got the word exempt right from That's the right. Uh, definition it says uh free from obligation mm. or liability imposed on others mm. so Another one says a, a, a free a person of organization, mm -hmm. uh, free a, a person organization mm -hmm. from an obligation or liability of, of imposing order. So the words are exempt, a spare, ex spare. A, accepted, accepted, excused. So oh, we're trying to be that that mark. We're trying to be accepted from the Lord, so yeah. we will not receive any of them plagues, yeah. death, the famine, mm -hmm. plagues, uh, uh, pestilence. You know, mm -hmm. the sword. Mm -hmm. Continue on, bro. It says excuse. We're trying to be excused because, hey, we've been sinning. We, we, our, our righteousness is That's a filthy rags. Right? We are filthy. And we've been praying to the Lord to excuse us for our wickedness and, and, and pretty much redeem us. And that's mm -hmm. what his name is. He is the redeemer. He's the savior. You know? So it says a release, release. discharge, mm -hmm. immune. That's right. Uh, to exclude, to spare, left to left off. That's right. To the so pretty much we asking the Lord Yahweh Hashem Shai. We hope that the Lord has mercy on us when all hell breaks loose. Yeah, spare our lives, man. That's right. Protect us when all hell breaks loose, because there's right. going to be nothing but chaos and evil that's coming here to America and throughout the four corners abroad. The elect throughout the four corners are, are, are who have that mark are going to be praying and having faith that the Lord will spare their lives and, and protect them. That's why in the scriptures and Peter says, "For the righteous will scarcely." be saved yeah we're going to be going through it but ultimately the lord knows his chosen he was predestined you know who to have that spiritual mark from the from the beginning of the earth from the since the foundations of the earth okay, you know? back here, so, right. uh second uh timothy 2 verse 19 and it says uh nevertheless the foundation of yahweh Messiah stayed ashore having his zeal the lord no done that are his mm -hmm. and let everyone that name the name of yahweh shai depart from iniquity you know, the, uh, you know, it says, nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High is in the shore. Like you said, right? The foundation of the Most High or who? The elect, the first fruits, those that was predestinated since the founder of the earth to his mercy. And that's, that's, right. that's the elect, you know what I'm saying? That's right. It says, uh, it says, uh, 
uh, having his zeal, right? The Lord knows them that are his, so the Lord knows his elect. You know what I'm saying? Right. No matter what, the elect ultimately they all gonna come back to the fall because that's right. that was that's the word of Yahweh Shemeshai for all the elect to be saved, come to on. be saved, right? Yep, 144,000 and the one third body are all gonna have that the wah, Ezekiel, that mark from Ezekiel 9 and 4, that spiritual mark. You know, the elect are not gonna take the 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 the, the physical mark that's spoken about in Revelations. Mm -hmm. You know, see, there's a difference. That's why it's important to know your words, know the meanings of words, man. So so you won't cause confusion. Come you know? on. Oh, this is our Romans 11 verse 4. Mm -hmm. But what says the answer of the most silent to him? I have reserved to myself seven thousand men. Who have not bowed their knees to the image of Allah? That's right, and that's the elect. The Lord, I, 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 I have the elect that's go, that they've been following Him since the foundations of the earth and trusting Him and believing Him. And when all hell breaks loose in this in this go around at the end times of Esau's rulership, uh, the elect are going to be delivered and protected, and going to have the blood of Yahweh uh, uh, uh their sins exempted. Their, the, you know, their, the, the, the. They're going to be exempted from the judgment from when, when all hell breaks loose, man. And this is what we, we, we do this work for, to pretty much wake up the hopeful elect. Because once the elect uh, are sealed, as according to Revelations the 7th chapter, then all hell going to break loose, man. And again, the RFID microchip being made mandatory and World War III, them thermonuclear missiles being shot here to America, those are the two last major prophecies. You know, that's, that has to happen. That will happen. Thus said the Lord, man. So we're here just to give you warning before, you know, Esau, Edom flags our page, remove the prophets off the streets. And so to me, the Lord's going to uh, uh, um, allow him. allow that to happen because that's that grace of mercy, the door of mercy closing up. You know, there's also got to be a famine of the word, man. So we're just here to push that word, continue to give warning to wipe the blood off our hands. And we pray that the elect hear this, you know, and ultimately the elect will get sealed because the, we know the, the words of the Lord go without void, you know. So he said it, he meant it. This is what is coming, you know. We confidently stand bold, you know, as a line saying this is going to happen whether you believe it or not, man. So you got anything else, bro? No, bro. Hey, we're going to say do not take that RFID microchip. It doesn't matter if you starving or, you know, you in dire straits and you need uh, help or you need some food. Hey, trust in the Lord. You know, the Lord will find a way in your in in that last moment to deliver, man. He's very dramatic, you know, trust in the Lord and have faith in him, man. So with that, we want to give all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahshah, Ba'ashim, Ba'ashim, that were honest to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and taught us this truth. And peace and salutations to the Bayaf that were died. That's the house of David, the elect. Until next time, we want to say Adawan Ratazah, which means Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.